A woman is fighting for her life tonight after she was struck by a truck in the parking lot of a Flower Bluff Walmart. Her family has identified her as Cordy Gilmore. Now witnesses speaking out after she stayed with Gilmore until she was taken away by ambulance. Our 3 News reporter Brianna Whitney shares her story. What began as a regular Saturday morning Walmart trip for an elderly woman ended before she could even walk into the store. All of a sudden there is a bunch of commotion. Everybody's running out and they're like, oh my God, oh my God, call 911, something had happened. Dara Stone was checking out at the register right by the exit when she heard the screaming and ran outside. There's a, the Dodge truck, extended cab disc, and there's a lady laying underneath it. Um, she wasn't moving at all. That woman, 74 year old Cordy Gilmore, critically injured after police say she was hit and run over by that truck. Stone stayed at the scene until an ambulance took the victim to the hospital. Now emotional, recalling what she saw. I stood there praying that she was going to be all right. You want to help when somebody's on their hurt, you know, and you couldn't do anything. Just back in July, Walmart had to pay a $43 million lawsuit for another pedestrian accident that happened in the parking lot of their Cal Allen store. Now that was because that parking lot had no stop signs, and that is not the case here at Flower Bluff. There are stop signs and caution signs, but they believe the cause of this accident was drunk driving. The driver of the truck, 34-year-old Cody Callison, arrested for intoxicated assault. Gilmore's family says she suffered major brain bleeding and are saying their final goodbyes. I feel sorry for them. I'm sorry that if she doesn't win this battle, then it's a horrible loss. Brianna Whitney, 3 News. So sad to hear that. And if Gilmore passes away, charges for Callison will likely be upgraded to intoxicated manslaughter.